Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again. This is Halloween. I've got Bone Jangles here. He's going to be co-hosting with me probably for the rest of the season, but he's over here trying to steal my thunder. Today, he wanted to be an angel because we are going to be a fairy. If you love the channel and what you've been seeing so far, please like and subscribe, share the video. It's going to let you know when I'm uploading new videos. You'll get a little notification when I'm, um, when I'm filming. If you're like me and you forget what day it is all the time, that'll be very helpful if you don't wanna miss anything. So please like and subscribe and let's get started. So here's all the stuff we're going to use for our woodland fairy sprite, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, she'll be cute. So we have some ears here. I think I paid $4 for these. I'm gonna use these for a couple costumes this year. I have some really cool um, flesh tone fishnet pantyhose that have little studs, uh, little diamonds all over them. These also were my mother's. She'll be happy we're using them today. And remember this? Yes, the ice skating dress is back. We're going to have these shoes. It's just a regular flat. These are flesh tone. We're going to be painting them. They are from my psycho costume last year so my janet lee from psycho costume and this here is just a bunch of flowers that i had it was actually an arrangement made for me by a friend that i had in my home for some time now we're going to repurpose them and use them for a costume if you're out there winter bower don't worry it's gonna turn out great. And I have a nice, a beautiful purple wig I think I got on Amazon last year. They have really decent wigs, I won't lie. Since last time I had a flesh tone bra with straps on it, I'm not doing that this time. I had bought these for another costume and I'm just gonna stick these on and it should work pretty good. And then of course we have our wings. So I wasn't happy with the way these wings looked and when we get to working on those, I'll show you how they look. They kind of flop over. You see how they're flopping over the chair? They kind of flop over your shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that and we're probably gonna change some of the flowers on there so that they match the other flowers over here because these are a little brighter and more childlike. I kind of want these more woodland looking flowers on there. So we have some writ dye. And then over here, just for the makeup, I want it to be like a purple fairy to sort of match the hair. So it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of purple involved. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I've just got a couple different colors here. Of course, it's been nigh, surprise, surprise. So I have a light lavender and I have, what's this, vivid violet. And I think we're going to, you know, most of the color is going to be around the eyes and the apples of the cheeks and we'll, we'll see how that looks when we get started. I bought some eyelashes that looked pretty cool and kind of fairy-like. Again, over exaggerated, you know, um, and I think they have silver glitter on them, so this should look cool. I have some spray body glitter here. Um, I just bought from Spirit Halloween. Um, I have my Elmer's glue. This is because I want to get rid of my eyebrows and make new eyebrows that look more fairy-like. So that's why I have this, even though my wig has long bangs and you may not see the eyebrows very well. We'll see. my sponge and that's it you know we'll probably have some black liner and some uh, black liquid liner as well which I don't have out here also I'm going to use a purple lipstick so let's go ahead and get started so I've got the dance outfit outside I just finished dyeing it with the writ purple dye just follow instructions on the back Whatever it says to do, just do it. You're supposed to use almost boiling water, 
140 degrees. Um, if it's a nylon material or stretchy spandex material, anything like that, you use vinegar. Um, mine was, so I used vinegar, but if you just follow the instructions, it'll turn out great. It has kind of like a tie-dye effect, which I'm kind of liking. It looks kind of cool. Um, I have my flowers here, and what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to cut just the flower. I'm going to cut the stems off and because we're just going to be using the flowers. <laughs> now for the ferns, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them kind of as is, maybe cut them a little bit shorter, and then we're going to get our hot glue. And once the dance outfit is fully dry, we're going to start hot gluing the flowers to the dance outfit. So I have the little ice skater dress here. And what I would recommend is just as I have done here is to start kind of place where you want things to go before you start gluing. Nothing here is glued yet. I've just kind of placed everything where I want it to go. And now I'm going to start hot gluing it onto the dress. And I'm going to do both sides. So I'll show you what that looks like. So my dress is finished. And there are all the little flowers all glued on and the back is done as well. I don't know if you can see it very good in this lighting, but it's perfect. It will work. Now I'm going to go get my wings and shoes from outside. And that's how I did that. And you'll see it in the pictures how they're going to stand up behind me. So, um, the other side, I just put some of the flowers left over from what I had, just so it matches a little bit better. So I wanted something in my hair, so I found these little banana clips. I just had them around the house, and I'm just going to hot glue some of this leftover foliage, as well as some of the flowers, to the banana clip and I'm gonna clip these in my hair. It'll look really cool. I also added some foliage to my shoes and the little ball things. Nothing beats Ben Nye. So I'm just getting the top of my face Um, basically gonna go down kind of into the chin area just blend it in with my natural skin it's just a very fair very light lavender so if it's not showing very well on your end it's because it's it's almost like a white it's just got lavender tones but we don't want it to be too dark for this part because you want it to blend with your natural skin towards the bottom of your face, your mouth, and, and all of that. I just really want the top of my face highlighted. Sounds weird, but it's going to look really good when we're done. Yeah, looking good not too worried about the top of my head because my wig is outrageous. It's got long bangs, so not really worried about that part. Just gonna do that and kind of like just lighter, lighter as we go down to the chin area. Now I'm gonna take my sponge now that we have the light lavender and it's pretty evenly distributed, I'm going to take my sponge, use the other side, and we're going to do the darker Vivid Violet on the apples of our cheeks, cheekbones, you know, like you're putting on blush. You know, as a, a couple's costume, you could always do 
a male and female fairy. And there's this artist, Brian Froud, who does fairies. If you look him up, he's got some really interesting looking fairies. Like if you ever wanted to do one that was a little unconventional or, um, you know, maybe even more of a scary or trollish looking fairy, you could do that um, with the Brian Froud fairies. It just, it'll give you a lot more range as far as type of fairy you want to be. So if you can see here, I just went a little crazy. That's okay, because anytime that happens, you can just take your light. This side looks better. You're gonna take your lighter lavender and just blend, you know, blend around it. And it, it kind of fixes it. See? No worries, there are no mistakes here. Only happy accidents. I'll blend this one too a little more. So you see how that kind of blended a little bit better? Just gonna do that. We got our cheekbones looking pretty good. It's really hard to see in here. Anytime you feel like it's uneven or it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, just go over it with the light and it will blend back to where you want it to be. All right, now we're gonna start our eyes. And what I wanna do is go up and over kind of like Vulcan. Is that what it's called from Star Wars? Or not Star Wars, Star Trek, <laughs> I think. A Vulcan? I'm gonna do that kind of look. Because fairies aren't normal looking, in my opinion. They don't just look like us. They've been flying around, eating bugs, plants, flowers not flesh tone you know the tone of their skin is probably you know flower colors you are what you eat you know that's what I think so we're just gonna start doing that and that's looking pretty good going into stuff I never know you know really what I'm gonna end up doing I just kind of go where the wind takes me and like I said fairy you can pretty much do anything. But I like, this looks very whimsical. It goes all the way up past my eyebrow. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Ooh. <laughs> Starting to look good, I think. We're just going to take pictures in the park nearby, in the butterfly garden at um, Sawgrass Lake Park. That's a park where I go do my walks. I like to walk four miles a day when I have time. This month it's hard fitting it in there because I've got so much going on I'm trying to get this channel off the ground. See that? And our eyebrows are gonna kinda go up like that too. Kinda like the little bit of imperfection there too. It's more natural looking, like. Wow, her eyes are really like that. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to the YouTube thing and uploading videos and using the equipment that I bought. It's, it's wild, there's a lot to it. But I clearly need a light. Now I'm just taking a Q-tip and I'm gonna go across my bottom lid.
Now I messed up. But it happens. I'm just going to put a little of the light color and that'll fix it. You want to clean up the lines? You just go right up and it'll blend it right in with your lighter color. See that? So we just blended that right in. Same here, I'm gonna clean up this line here. If you can see it, I'm gonna clean that right up using my lighter color. And it's cleaned up. Okay, now I wanted to do an eyebrow sorts for this character. And I thought I would do a purple eyebrow. So I'm just taking a Q-tip and just dampening it. And I think I wanna just see that? Just went straight up. I'm gonna make it a little thicker on one end. Kinda has a cool effect like that. I kind of like the way that looks. If you can see, it's kind of darker at the top and lighter at the bottom, kind of like a brush streak. And I'm kind of digging it. Again, things happen sometimes by accident that I didn't really mean to do, but it looks good. And all you're doing is taking your, your Q-tip, damp, getting a little, and we're just using the, the purple again, the dark purple. Kind of looking like fairy-esque, I think. I brought my uh, liquid liner. I think I want to do some uh, kind of like a cat eye too. I do my cat eyes kind of quickly. That's how I do it. There's a you put a line over here. You match up your line over here, just going from your the corner of your eye up, and then you're just gonna connect it. You're gonna take the brush and you're gonna connect, connect to the tip of the line. That's how I do mine. And I just keep doing it until I get it right. I have to get to a better lighting to get that done, but you can see where we're going with that. So I did my eyes. I had to go do them off camera because my lighting is horrible here. Daddy, if you're listening, my birthday's coming up. I could really use a ring light for my channel. Just a suggestion. I'm gonna get my lashes. And there are some wild lashes. What else is new? If you'll notice, I did do my uh, my wingtip eyeliner first. You always want to do that first. I'm not putting on mascara this time because these are silver lashes. So I kind of hoping they will just blend better without the mascara. Well, that didn't work very good. These better work better than we're starting out here. I might have to just go without the lashes and just do mascara. I've never bought this kind before. And I'm going to do some black liner. While I wait for that to get tacky, I'll put some black liner on.
Very nice. Let's see if we can try this again. It's really not working. Don't buy this kind. <laughs> Don't buy this kind at all. Wow, what a waste of money. How are you supposed to do these? They don't stick. Other crazy lashes to the rescue. Here I am. I had to go into another room to put my eyelashes on because I just can't see. I'm losing sunlight with a quickness. What I want to do last for this look is just use some of the spray glitter. I want to spray my face and my shoulders and chest area with the spray glitter. Don't breathe it in. Sparkly. It's awesome. I love this stuff. I don't wanna spray my chairs. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put my costume on and get my wig on and we'll go for pictures. Got my wig and costume on. Let's go take some photos. Hello! Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my videos. You're just going to get a notification every time I make a video. That way you don't miss anything. And there's some really cool stuff coming up. So, and it's absolutely free, just so you know. A lot of people didn't know that. Um, anyway, happy Halloween!